Uh oh. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's crush 500 likes for this video, boy. All right. A couple of dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but the first one, we might be getting... The all-new Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville game on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a might. This is coming from Pierce Snyder uh, in the latest um, IGN NVC Nintendo Voice Chat podcast. He said that he spoke to someone from EA off the record uh, because EA was basically saying they're struggling to have success on the Switch. Uh, FIFA 20 on the Switch is pretty much FIFA 19.5 on the Switch is, is the same game. And they said that they're struggling to find an audience on the Switch. So Pierre was like, why don't y'all port games that will appeal more to a Nintendo audience? Games like Plant vs. Zombies. And to that, he said that the EA developer responded with a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That means... He couldn't outright say it, but it's probably in the works. It's probably about to happen. Bro, I have this game on my Xbox with Overwatch just now about to launch on the Switch. This game would be, per especially if you're a fan of Splatoon, you would love Plant vs. Zombie, especially the Battle for Neighborville game. I was surprised. When this game launched, well, it, did it officially launch yet? There was like an early Founders Pack. But the early Founders Pack was only for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This game would probably sell the best on the Switch. The gameplay is dope. The art style is dope. Dope, dope game. And it looks like, it looks like we could be getting this game on the Switch. Other games that are like a perfect fit from EA on the Switch. Games like Sims. I'm surprised Sims 4 hasn't made its way on the Switch yet. But EA, if you give us this and we don't get Call of Duty from Activision and we get um, Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville, I would be lit. I like this actually more than Call of Duty. This game is fire, bro. And so we might be getting it on the Switch. Might. Next news item. Ori. Ori and the Blind Forest. It was an Xbox exclusive, ported to the Switch, but this game actually runs better on the Switch than it does on the Xbox. Now, this is coming from the game director Thomas Mayer. He recently confirmed that Ori sprites are animated at 30 frames per second on the Xbox One and PC, and, but on the Switch, they're animated at a full 60 frames per second. And the director saying this is simply due to optimization, of course, because the game has already been out. And so in making the Switch port, they optimized the game for the system. That's all third party developers need to do. Take the time out to optimize the game. And I'm sure this game is selling good um, on the Switch. This game is fire. Top five favorite platformers. Um, probably going to be day one, Will of the Wisp, when that comes out uh, next year. But this game is dope. And interesting enough, the Switch version <laughs> is the definitive edition. <laughs> All right, next news item, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, crushing it in sales right now. It's being reported that 
Zelda links. It's not Zelda links. There's no Zelda in this game. There's no Zelda in the title. It's just Link's Awakening. <laughs> Link's Awakening has sold over 430,000 copies in its first three days on the market. That's almost half a million in just three days. Good stuff for the game. This is the best looking Switch game. When you're playing this game, it just looks beautiful. The art style is dope. I'm a little lost right now, bro. I'm trying to enter the castle, and I need to find some leaves. I need to find cracks in the wall. I'm going to look some stuff up online, but I'm determined to beat this game before Luigi Mansions drop at the end of this month. Dope, dope, dope game, and glad that the game is selling good. Next news item, boy. Do you want an alternative to Pokemon? Yo-Kai Watch. Yo-Kai Watch 4 Plus Plus has been announced and it's launching on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch December 5th. I've never played a Yo-Kai Watch game. I don't know anything about this. It looks cool. It looks different. It looks creative. But, um... An enhanced version of Yokai Watch 4, Yokai Watch 4 Plus Plus, will be launching December 5th um, for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. So if this is your thing, pick it up, bro. Too many games coming out, bro. I still need to get um, I got the download for Dragon Quest 11. I'm gonna play through the down the demo, and dudes told me that your your progress from the demo in Dragon Quest 11 transfers over to the main game. So I got um, Link's Awakening, Luigi's. These are just the single player games because Overwatch I'm getting to. Link's Awakening, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, um, Pokemon Sword or Shield. I'm going to get Shield. And Dragon Quest. Got to beat Dragon Quest, man. I'm a huge Dragon Quest fan. All right. Next news item. This is pretty crazy, bro. Nintendo Switch emulation for the PC is now as good as the actual console. The developers of Yuzu, and <laughs> pardon me, I don't like reporting on news like this because I'm not a big fan of emulators. It's like you're stealing the game from the developers. If you're buying a game not from the developers, they're not getting a the check. They put in all that work. They should get um, paid for the games that they make. But the developers of Yuzu, a Nintendo Switch emulator for the PC, has released an update that now allows games like Super Mario Odyssey to run at a full 60 frames per second. That's crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Nintendo need to find a way to crack down on it, bro. Sue, you, Zoom, do something, bro. Nintendo, send your ninjas out, bro. All right, and last thing is, this really just um, a reminder. If you want to join a dope gaming community, dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, become a sponsor. Twitch, you can sponsor through it, becoming a Twitch sub. Right here on YouTube, um, you can become a member on YouTube or through Patreon. Join a dope gaming community tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be on um, Warframe on the Switch. It's been a minute since I picked up Warframe on the Switch, but a couple of the sponsors want to play it. So we're going to be on Warframe tonight on the Switch. I stream on my YouTube gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Twitch, Twitch, and Mixer all at the same time. Four platforms, I multi-stream all at the same time. So make sure you follow me on all those uh, in all those places. Gonna be playing Warframe on the Switch, boy. Get in our private Discord, become a sponsor, support the content, all that good stuff. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Plant versus zombies.
perfect fit for the switch.